Welcome back to the channel, beautiful family. Now, over the past few weeks and videos, we have been giving you some of the most potential projects, tokens, assets that you can get into that will give you the best or the most amount of gains. This bull run, we all know the bull run has already started. And yes, we are currently in a crash, but there has been a lot, a lot, a lot of gains that have already been made. You have been hearing about Solana meme coins. Solana has been popping with meme coins and then we get to hear about base. We saw a lot of liquidity moving to base and people have made a lot of money in there. And meanwhile, we haven't even crossed 30% of the potential of this bull run, which means we are still early. There's a lot yet to be seen. The halving hasn't yet happened. It is happening in a week and a few days. So you still have a lot of potential positions to take in order to position yourself right in this bull run. And this video is no different. In fact, some would argue that this is probably for many one of the most important videos that could get you involved in something very, very interesting. Now, allow me to introduce you to the runes protocol. Now, what are runes, you ask? Runes are a successor of the Bitcoin BRC20 protocol. This was one of the biggest things to happen to Bitcoin since Bitcoin. At least so many people have that sentiment. Imagine a world where on the biggest blockchain, on the biggest asset, is the ability to create new tokens, create new projects, and create NFTs. That exactly is what the BRC20 protocol brought to Bitcoin. It gave Bitcoin more utility. It gave Bitcoin more value be beyond. It gave Bitcoin more value, right? So, other than Bitcoin, currently are more assets, currently are more tokens and NFTs on the Bitcoin blockchain. And people have made millions since last year, March, when the protocol launched. Millions have been made. But nonetheless, even though it is a very huge opportunity, even though to this day, a lot of money and a lot of people are still in the BRC20 space making a lot of good gains. Because again, Bitcoin is the biggest asset. The whole crypto market follows Bitcoin. Bitcoin makes the statement. How much more the tokens on Bitcoin, right? We are yet to see a lot happening on Bitcoin. And this is the season onto which we are seeing that. We are seeing more utility, more action happening on the Bitcoin blockchain. How much more in the biggest bull run ever to be seen in the cryptocurrency space? This bull run is going to be the biggest. We already hit the all-time high from the previous bull run. We have already made a new all-time high and we haven't even touched 30% of what the bull run could do. Therefore, that begs the question, where is the next opportunity? Yes, there is still time. And here is the Runes protocol. The Runes protocol is solving many of the problems that the BRC20 protocol had. One among which is definitely Lightning support. Now, Lightning is sort of like this layer 2 that is on Bitcoin. And it enables or gives or it enables people easily make transactions which are very quick yet with low transaction costs. So because of the runes protocol, people will be able to mint and transfer and transact rune tokens with low transaction costs at a very insanely fast pace. Meaning that we're going to have a lot more activity, a lot more transactions than before. We're going to have a lot more projects launching on Bitcoin than before because of the way it is easy to transact on Lightning. Ladies and gentlemen, Runes is going to be the biggest thing happening on Bitcoin this bull run. And a lot of gains are going to be made. Consider this. If you want to make the most of the bull run swing, the bull run upward momentum. With the BRC20 protocol, many of these tokens were free mints. Free. 
you only had to pay a gas cost of $20. So picture a project you're investing in $20 for gas cost and it goes up $5,000, which has happened a lot among the BRC20 tokens. How much more in runes? As we are yet to see, and I'm about to answer the question you have in your heads. Why should I even consider investing in the runes protocol? What is, wh why should I even put my money in runes? Why should I look at it? A few days to the launch, and this is what runes, or rather pre-runes have achieved thus far. What you see right now on your screens is a rune stone. Nope, it is not a rune, but it is a rune stone. A rune stone is a pre-rune, which are projects that are launching before the runes protocol launches, essentially giving every holder of this specific project the eligibility to receive an airdrop when the runes protocol launches. So a runes token will be airdropped to every holder of this runes project. Now, so much FOMO has been around this that even though this specific rune stone was launched or was airdropped on April 4th, yes, airdropped, free airdrop, free airdrop, to who you ask? To any Ordinals OG, Bitcoin Ordinals to the first adopters of the BRC20 protocol who actually had about two to three NFTs in their wallet. You just woke up one morning and you have a runestone in your wallet for free. You don't pay gas costs. You don't pay anything apart from maybe the gas fees you incurred when you were doing those transactions that got you eligible for this airdrop, which is crazy. Now, this specific project was a free airdrop. Free airdrop. And... Since then, 26 days ago, from free to 0.077 BTC, this in USD conversion is about $5,200. $5,200. A flow price, the cheapest shroom store, is over $5,000. And meanwhile, it has dropped because the market is crashing. It went as high as close to $7,000. Oh, it has just changed. The cheapest runestone right now is 0 0.08, close to $6,000. 0 0.08 BTC in 25 days. Guys, Bitcoin runestones can change your life. Everybody that owns this is receiving three meme coins for free. So this is something you can definitely also get into. You can get yourself a Bitcoin runestone Hold it and you're eligible for free meme coins, especially uh, Leonidas, who is the founder. You can check out his Twitter. Leonidas, who is the founder or the creator of these specific runestones, announced that there is going to be a dog coin that is airdropped to all runestone holders. And best believe that it will do well. Why? Because there's a lot of FOMO around runestones. I mean, the pro. I mean, the pre-rune stones have already done good. Like, they have done really, really good. If you have invested zero in a project and it's now over $5,000 and counting, and you're receiving more value with free tokens, which people will buy expensively, because again, we are in a bull run, and dog coins, meanwhile, which all runestone holders are eligible for, dog coins do are the best performing meme coins in the crypto space. So think about Dogecoin, Dog with Hat, Dog with Balls. Most of them perform really, really well. So combine the hype around this with the technology, this has serious potential. But this Runestone project was the genesis of a movement, the genesis of something that we have probably not seen on Bitcoin since the Bitcoin ordinals were introduced because of the first free airdrop, which was huge and massive. We started to notice a lot more airdrops of pre-rune projects, one among which is the Rune Paps. Rune Paps currently at 0 0.184 BTC. That is a flow. The flow, the cheapest Rune Pap at 0 0.184 BTC in dollars is over $12,000. Freely airdropped to people's addresses, Ordinals OG's addresses. Again, 
The next one, as you can see here, is RSIC Metal Protocol. Again, free airdrops to Ordino's wallets, at least Ordino's OGs. We are seeing a lot of this happening, and this is over $3,000, 0.052 BTC as a flow. This is huge. This is huge. The crypto space rallies around FOMO. It rallies around conversation. It rallies around community. And the new conversation, the latest trend in the Bitcoin space is the runes protocol. We are seeing a lot more of these projects coming up. Look, this is the runes guardians, miners. This project specifically is 0.0027 BTC. It has rallied up about 2x. The rune guardians as well. This the, the difference is these are for the miners and this is the NFT project which has also gone up 3x since launch which again launched two days ago. A good 3x in two days? Well, that's good profit. That's good profit if you ask me. That is amazing. So this specific all these projects that you see here are pre runes which again anyone that holds these projects is eligible for rune meme coins or rune tokens or rune project tokens upon launch of the runes protocol this is not financial advice so do and make your own research as far as the runes protocol and the pre-runes are concerned but the figures the numbers don't lie the numbers are very juicy i mean look at the block the block is currently at 0.07 btc this is in a week since launch a week since launch over three thousand dollars a policy which launched yesterday 0.02 btc about one thousand three hundred dollars so the trend is evident the trend is clear these are all nfts on the bitcoin blockchain i mean yeah 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 bitcoin the bitcoin maxis this will never work and yes yes i mean everyone has their own personal sentiment but again money never lies now the runes protocol may not be for the long haul but there is a money play here there is a money play here especially in this bull run like the nft wave came and sort of died out we are seeing the runes protocol creating a lot of conversation there's definitely bitcoin maxis who are who are not going to be part of it but they are more degens than bitcoin maxis best believe they are more degens than bitcoin maxis and degens don't really have any problem with bitcoin or ethereum all they want is either to make good gains or to be part of some cool stuff you know so this is definitely cool and of course these are all nfts and they are they are doing well they are doing well one thing you can do is so how can you make money from this one definitely buying one of these nfts which gives you eligibility for rune coins when the protocol launches which are going to be some of the most performing tokens on bitcoin and of course arguably in crypto now this is huge and these specific rune tokens are going to be some of the most performing crypto tokens assets coins whatever you choose to call it in this current bull run and again that is arguable most definitely but the numbers don't lie people have already made millions in pre-runes people have already made hundreds of thousands in pre-runes and that is all around the FOMO for the runes protocol just around FOMO and FOMO is everything FOMO is everything in crypto right as when you go to coin market cup you definitely see the fear and greed bar FOMO is everything how can you get how can you be part of this well start probably by either buying one of the pre-runes projects which gives you eligibility again for the rune stones or the rune coins rather or you be part of an upcoming pre-runes project so you ask what are the most promising pre-rune projects all right this is bit dog there are very many pre-rune projects that are coming out 
and you could definitely do research and find more but among many is bitdog bitdog is the former oxbt community now for those that have been in the ordinal space for long you have heard about oxbt it was a free mint all you had to do is pay gas fees and the price of the oxbt tokens rallied app for those that minted 5000 the price really really rallied up to about $1,000 or $1,500 per 5,000 OXBT from a free mint. Now, that crashed. Granted, it did crash. And the community rebranded to BitDog. What is BitDog? BitDog is a pre-runs project for my OXBT community that is having its mint on april 17th why should you look at this specific project well for starters they do have cool and i mean cool high quality pfps cool high quality dogs dog art and these are some of the examples cool high quality dog art these are going to be the nfts that you are going to meet on april 17th now the mint is definitely not free as a disclaimer it is not free but it is cheap it is going to meet on april 17th for 0.015 btc approximately a hundred dollars and gas fees mint fees there are different tiers of minting this specific project tier one is for the ogs for the ogs you need about 5000 oxbt to meet one big dog and or crown studio dow holders tier two for the vips at least 1000 oxbt to have two mint passes and community collabs then tier 2.5 for the collectors this involves community partnerships and different projects like node monkeys and bitcoin puppets all these have access to the tier or the window 2.5 then the last window is the public first come first serve anyone meeting now of course it will get to the public if all these have finished and if there are still more bit dogs to meet it will get to the public so this is one has a very strong community two has cool art three is a pre-runes project and so they are not only having dog nfts they are also going to have a dog meme coin. For every holder of this specific project, they will have a dog meme coin airdropped to each and every address that holds a bit dog. Right? Now, dog coins, like I mentioned before, are the most performing meme coins in the crypto space. And here we have a very solid project with a good community with dope art having a dog coin around a narrative that is being formed out to the max so i see this having very very good potential a hundred dollars mint fee and gas cost or gas fee and it's as simple as that and you have yourself a bit dog and all you have to do is either sell if you so wish to sell or you wait for the dog coin that will be released when the protocol launches on either april 19th or april 20th this project has so uh, it has good potential it's something you can look into this is not financial advice please do your own research i emphasize it is not solid financial advice but but as far as bringing you value is concerned, the runes protocol has good, good potential and some of the pre-runes projects also have very, very good potential. Now, it is easier to follow the wave while it is still early because when the FOMO reaches its maximum, it will definitely come dropping and dipping down because again, every graph has a peak. This graph is still climbing. All those that are involved in this while it is still in its infancy are going to make good gains. For those that are going to follow the trend and the wave and the conversation, a disclaimer is every graph has a peak. And this may not be a long haul money play where we are yet to see if it is here for the long haul. But as far as the bull run is concerned, this has good potential and 
it could make you a lot of money. It's something worth looking into. Runes protocol, pre-runes projects. You can either buy into existing projects or you can be part of existing or upcoming pre-runes projects and the mining of that, right? Position yourself like the runestone holders who were airdropped free runestones currently worth over $5,500. You as well can be part of that. But for all the DGENs out there, I definitely know that if you haven't already jumped onto this, you are yet to jump onto this wave, right? And with that said, thank you very much for sticking up to this point in the video. Do not hesitate to like, comment, and subscribe if you have it. And yes, please share the video to a loved one. For more info, for more alpha, follow us on our Twitter and Instagram at Muda Tech. Till next time, cheers.